No, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. This is the official Mint.com application for Android. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Mint.com is one of the best personal finance managers. And now it's going to be one of the best Android apps, obviously, because unlike some of the other financial applications for Android, you don't have to uh, enter in transactions as you go along. Because Mint can actually connect with your PayPal account, with your checking account with your credit cards so all the transactions you do will automatically appear in mint this works for uh, your debt uh, your your income whatever whatever you connect to mint.com is going to appear in your phone so let's say I have my PayPal account linked here and I'm going through and I say okay these are all the transactions I've had recently and I say what was this one about Dills Extreme so I click it it tells me the date the category I can add tags and notes and I can say oh yeah I bought a lens for my camera and then if I choose I can put the shipping number right here and come back to it at a later date so there's a lot of stuff you can do also you can link your your credit cards or your debit card so as I go through I can see all the these are all my recent transactions over the past two weeks so I know where my money is going what I spent uh, how I got income and you can do the same for your credit cards, like I said. Uh, you can even link your mortgage or your store cards. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, the app is pretty good. I've been using it for about a week now. Uh, it's very stable. I haven't had any force close issues. Uh, what, another thing I really like, aside from the accounts, it gives you budget managing. So let's say I decide every month I can spend $10 on movies and DVDs. Obviously, that's a low number. This is just a dummy budget. But I can say, okay, I've got 10 bucks. Uh, let me go to the store and buy a new movie tonight. I say, oh, I got $10 to spend at restaurants. All right, sorry, babe, we're going to McDonald's tonight. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. Gas, clothing. You can create your own budgets. You can create your own categories. There's, there's a variety of options. You can also check your cash flow to see your income. And you can go on Mint.com to check your alerts to make sure you're notified when there's big purchases or big withdrawals in case you have uh, your data gets compromised. On the app itself, it does let you pass code. So uh, if you lose your phone, the person would have to enter your password. It won't remember it if you choose that option. You can also have live folders and widgets, which I'm going to show you now. Basically, the, the widget just tells you how much cash you have on hand based on what's linked to your accounts and how much you owe. So if I'm going out tonight and I say, okay, I've got about 1500 cash, maybe I should go easy at the casino tonight, stuff like that. You can also have a, a live folder. When you press that, it goes directly to your recent purchases so you can see them there. And oh, one more thing about the widget. If you want to refresh real quickly, you just tap that refresh button and then it goes. Uh, after a week of using this, I'm going to say this is pretty much one of the best financial managing apps, if not the best. Feel free to correct me if you can suggest one. But as of right now, this is the best one that I've used. And uh, pretty much, you should go get it. By the time you watch this video, it should be available in the Android market. This is Andrew from Androidica.com saying come by, get more reviews, more apps, more tips, and thanks to Mint.